I'm, I, I'm the CEO and president of the Alcor Life Extension Foundation, which is the largest cryonics organization in the world. Basically what we're doing is we're putting you in stasis, we're stopping things from getting worse, and then when we're maintaining you in that position, not getting any worse, and we're gonna wait until the future, which we think is highly plausible, will eventually develop the ability to not only reverse the condition that killed you in today's sense, that you know, made you majorly dysfunctional, but can also reverse the aging process. We can be pretty sure that if you're incinerated and there's nothing left of you but dust, there's no way you're coming back. There is no conceivable technology that could reverse that. Entropy's gone too far. What if you have a heart attack and nobody finds you for two days and you're at room temperature? I gotta say, it's looking pretty bad. Very, very bad. Could we ever reverse that damage? I don't know. I wouldn't want to be in that position, but I wouldn't want to say for sure no. There's a tremendous amount of damage. But there's a huge difference between that and an optimal situation in cryonics. We do not promise that it's gonna work. We don't promise anything at all because that wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be uh, honest to do that. There's lots of uncertainties. In 1961, let's put a man on the moon within a decade. Well, we can't do that. We don't have the right propulsion systems, life support systems, and this and that. Well, we're gonna make it happen, and we did. If we put the same effort into cryopreservation, or both organ research and human cryopreservation, I think there's no reason why this can't be achieved. There's nothing impossible about it. And if someone thinks it is impossible, they're gonna to have to explain to me their criteria for possibility. The conclusion is that cryonics might seem odd today, but at some point in the future, and I can't say when, it will become the norm. Every hospital will have a cryonics unit where once you need it, they'll go into action and they'll start this, the initial process and then probably transfer you to a specialist organization. And there will be some day in the future when we look back on today and we will think, were people insane? They took their loved ones and they threw them in the ground or in big ovens when they could have cryopreserved them. Those people were crazy back in the early 21st century. Why didn't they cryopreserve them? So I like to take that perspective. I think this should be the normal thing and I hope people will think about this carefully and become part of that norm. Thank you very much.